Hey, what's up guys? Let me explain you how can you make from this small wind turbine a little bit better one. So, by default, this small wind turbine goes with uh, this kind of three blades hub, right? Uh, it looks like this, it may have a tail going down, it may have a tail going up, it doesn't matter. But in general, it goes also with this kind of generator, you see? So this is how it fits, and this is what it looks inside. And the main thing is, if you would look inside and take a look at this rotor element, it would be very, very thin. It's only eight millimeters thick. Uh, I don't have any, 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 any measurement instrument with me right now. How can we check? But like, just believe me, it's eight millimeters only. In contrary, you see, this is something different here, right? And, well, those generators are, like, uh, combined from, from two, two, two halves. Uh, this one was actually mounted like this. Uh, all, 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 all this piece was going inside. Uh, however, I found out that on AliExpress, actually, where, you, where I was buying this turbine in a hole, it cost me, like, 100 bucks, I believe. Uh, in reality, it was able to produce something around 34 watts at its peak, at its peak, because, well, you see, there is, there is just no metal, not enough metal to, to, to be able to actually produce something. Uh, but I found out that you can buy basically the bigger generator that fix, fits exactly in the same mountain, uh, mountain holes, mountain, mountain, mountain space. And what the only mod that I had to do was buying a little bit longer bolts for uh, the system, like for, for it to go like completely through this and actually get into here for about uh, half an inch or maybe 12 millimeters. Uh, so the difference between those two is very, very simple. If this is eight millimeters thick, the same rotor for uh, this generator is 25 millimeters thick. So it's three times bigger, three times bigger and three times bigger uh, in thickness, also this, this, this thing is also thicker uh, about three times, means it will have really a lot of power, not three times, but way more. The problem with this is that you will not be able to use the default wind wheel, but you go to AliExpress and buy a different one. Five blade wind wheel will have a lot more torque that is really required to start this generator. And well, this one is a little bit longer. So if this blade, this, this default blade was only, uh, the wind wheel in hole was, was 1.2 meters in diameter. This one, which is a five blade, is 1.3 meters in diameter. And my preliminary tests on, like from, just from the hand I was holding and, and being able just to see if it was uh, running, uh, we're showing that at 3, 3.5 meters per second, it already starts turning, which is really, really good result. Because like I was doing it from like maybe two meters above from the ground, because that's my height. Uh, I raise it above the head, above my head just to see if it was able to, if, 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 if this wind wheel was able to turn it, because that's the main problem. Uh, my next step will be actually mounting on, on a test pole and to see, and to connect it to some 12 volt generator and to see if there is some output, but... I did some bench tests already, connected it to this kind of controller. Controller is like pretty good. Uh, on 12 volt system, I, I, don't, I don't have currently the setup to make it 24 volts, but on 12 volt system, on 300 RPMs, it was already producing 60 watts, which is really, really good for such low RPMs. And I don't know what will happen once it gets to some nominal 600, 700, 800 RPMs at maybe at winds like nine, 10 meters per second, because that wind will, and this generator are both capable of doing this. So like this is the short update about it. And once there are more test results with the test setup, I will actually keep you posted and you will see how it goes. I bet this must be interesting for you, for, the, for all those who are interested in the um, small wind turbine for your home. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's something I am actually fond of and I want to make things that do not work like they should have, because 
This one was promised to be 400 watts. It will never be 400 watts with, 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 this, with this generator. Impossible, absolutely impossible. I believe this one in, with this generator and with that new wind wheel will be able to produce some three, 400 watts. Uh, and that's the mod that actually you have to do. Costs, 100 bucks for the original wind turbine, $75 for the new wind wheel, $90 for the new generator. And you may calculate it everything on your own. Um, of course, I was actually opening a dispute because this is not as it should. So in the end, after all the disputes, this wind turbine, the original one, cost me like $30. So my total cost was way below $200. Uh, not, not way below, it's like $192 or $193, I think. So... Yeah, and uh, for this cost, so far, I am happy. But let's see the confirmation of production once it gets fine on the real, real wind. I will keep you posted.